Hi guys, welcome to this first song in a series of lessons that are showing you some real song melodies to play on your guitar for electric or acoustic um, that are all based on the major scale. Now as I've said before, the major scale is the foundation of all pop and rock songs and the foundation of all melodies but it tends to get very overlooked, especially on any type of beginner guitar. So uh, this is something that's a little bit unconventional that I'd be bringing in suddenly bringing in a little bit earlier than I normally would but I'm encouraging absolutely anyone who's following videos on my channel to have a go at this and then see how far along this playlist of songs that we're going to get. I'm treating this one as a bit of an introduction so before you've done this song I want you to have a go at learning the scale itself but the first five notes um, from the thinnest two strings. If that's something that you can play, then this is going to be perfect for you. We can learn this without having gone for that first one, but you're not going to get as much benefit out of this series of videos if you do that. So I very much encourage you to make sure you've watched that first video and then be watching this one, okay? Um, for the simple reason that the first three notes of this simple melody, which is Hot Cross Buns, um, and we're treating this one as a bit of an introduction. I wouldn't even say this is a, a full proper song. All the rest of the songs in the list are going to be real life songs that you can play along to. But this one, it's just very telling and I didn't want to leave it out of the list because I always use this as the first thing that I would teach anyone in private lessons. So this, you can see this is a private one-to-one -one lesson or as if this is a Skype lesson, really. So the first three notes of your major scale as something that we've played already and you've played before and you're playing them in order from that first note to the highest one that we've gone for. What this does is it plays those first three notes in reverse. This is why we're doing this one first. It shows you how easily the, this order of the notes, changing the order of the notes, even when it's something that you know, really throws things off. So let's have a quick go at that now. The first three notes, we start from our thinnest, uh, thinnest string, the open E, and then we're going to put your third finger at the third fret of the B string, which I think you can see quite clearly here without, uh, without a zoom in, without a close-up. But um, open to third fret on the B string, and then we go to our first fret on the second string, and that's our first three notes, and they're the reverse order of the first three notes of our scale. Da, da, da. If you have a go at doing that now, it's probably a change for you. It's probably a change of order. So that's the first thing that um, the melodies are going to do that a scale wouldn't, okay? It's going to still go um, high to low or low to high, but it can start from any note, okay? We need that twice to the following rhythm. Which if you even say the words as well, which are just hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. It becomes really embedded in you. It becomes, if you sing the melody that you play as well, you will guaranteed learn this, this better and learn how to use these notes better. So that's something I encourage you to do now. And we're going to go for super slow. Let's just have this one quick go just at these first three notes. In, two, three. Four, hot crossed buns, and again, hot crossed buns. Now that's also going to be, we've played that twice, so that's like the first two things on, on the tab that we've just seen. And uh, if we have a look at that tab now, we have open, three, and one. And then each line on this tab, as we've covered before, um, is... A, a string on your guitar. Now that's very different to if you see one of these signs which would be a, a treble clef which means traditional notation. Every line on that is a note and that's different to this idea of tab. So tab, every line is a, a string on your guitar. The top one is the thinnest one and the bottom one is the thickest one. So if we have a high melody it will be on the thinner notes and we can see this one is a high melody because we have that first open string and then third fret it comes down a string, so you know that your melody starts high and comes down. And then we go to number one, first fret on that B string. And then we can see on the tab that that is the same 
Again, it happens twice. Open three one. Open three one. The more you practice this, the more you do, and the more you work through this course, you'll develop the relationship between looking and reading the tab and picking the correct string, which is something that a lot of people can kind of really struggle with, um, even going forward from here. So that's something we're trying to get right away. Um, that's even the same, if you look ahead in the tab, that's the same as the last bar. So we've got half cross buns, hot cross buns, another section, and then hard cross buns. It's the same again. It's just this third bar that we need to cover, and then we're done. Nice and straightforward, okay? Um, so that last, uh, that third bar, last one we need to cover, is the first finger, the note that we ended, the, the buns note as it was, and we're going to play that four times to the rhythm of one a penny. So we're going to play it a little bit faster. That uses eighth notes, as you can see in the rhythm. Um, so one and two and, and then we go to the third fret, three and four and, da 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 da. And again, try and use your first and third finger for those, but you can use others as well. You don't have to be too strict at this stage. And then we go straight into that last bar to finish up. So um, that one bar. Let's go from the middle to the end. One a penny, two a penny, hard crossed buns. Let's do that really slow. Let's just go one more time. Make sure you've got um, play this along with me from the one a penny. Two, three, four. One a penny, two a penny, hot crossed buns. Let's go a couple more times just on that. Same thing again. Two. Three, four, one a penny, two a penny, hard crossed buns. Last time, two, three, four, one a penny, two a penny, hard crossed buns. Great stuff. Now we're going to go for the whole thing. Okay, so hard crossed buns, zero, three, one, zero, three, one. Okay. The whole line as written in the tab, let's give this a go. Two, three, four. And again. One a penny. Let's do that one more time, even slower. I possibly played it a little bit fast then, don't worry. Two, three, four. One a penny. Perfect. So those first few notes are using what we call um, crotchets or one beat notes. One. Okay, they all happen on the beat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then um, the one a penny part uses eighth notes, same as our eighth strumming from my beginner's course. One and two and three and four and... So these single note melodies will have some kind of rhythm timing to them. It's best at this stage, certainly because we're guitarists, we're going to be mainly going from the tab, if we can hear that, if we can copy the melody that we're hearing. But having knowledge of that beat underneath it is going to be really important, kind of going forward for these ten songs. So we'll go for that one more time, but if you're already confident, Go ahead and move on in the course and um, play any of the other 10 songs. They do go in order, but you can pick your favourites. I'd recommend doing at least five of them, um, but you can choose to, to not do certain ones because some, some of the material will be quite similar going through it. But if you struggle at any point, especially if you're going for some of the latter ones, just peg back and do some of the earlier ones in the playlist. And if they're not filmed yet, they will be very shortly. I'll be uploading them all this week. So let's have one final playthrough of Hot Cross Buns. And you want to do this ideally as a warm up for doing the other songs. So from the open E string in two, three, four. And again. One a penny. One more time for good luck in two, 
One a penny right. Hope you've enjoyed that video Please subscribe if you like what I do And check out the playlist of these songs for free on YouTube That teach you how to play simple melodies and real songs um, Using your major scale Which is the most common set of notes And the foundation of anything in music Not just guitar playing Hopefully you enjoy those. As I say, visit the website at andyguitar.co.uk if you haven't already, and I'm sure I'll see you guys again. Bye for now.